Africa has 60% of the world's most arable land. Now, what is the Chinese agenda? The Chinese agenda is that they are going to send millions of their people. As I'm speaking to you right now, they have occupied hundreds of land, thousands of hectares of land in Africa. There are actually 40, there were before this outbreak of coronavirus, 40,000 Chinese in Nigeria working for the Dangote farm. Most of them don't even go back to their country. In, in South Africa, for example, there are 30,000 permanent resident Chinese that are there, permanently resident there, go to Namibia, you see them, go to Tanzania, you see them, go to Kenya, you see them in hundreds, you see them in mining, illegally killing animals and taking them, keep taking them back to China. So what is the Chinese agenda? The agenda is that their population is growing and they are going to send in more millions of their people in Africa to occupy land, dominate Africa both economically, okay? While our people are busy doing their politics, China is taking over our land. This thing I'm very concerned about is because no African can even occupy an apartment, buy or sell an apartment. You, can't, you don't even have permanent residence in China. Talk more of getting land. So why are Chinese people buying land in Africa? Why? We spoke with the entire uh, Pan-African uh, uh, research team and we're going to publish the list of all the hectares, thousands of hectares of land that Chinese people are occupying all over Africa. As I'm talking to you right now, one of our contacts is sending information about the Chinese poultry farm in Ogun State in Nigeria. Okay, 